The big story tonight, Justin, doesn't get any bigger than Santa <laughs> Claus. I know you went home from dinner. Yeah, I went home from dinner, and you know, the kids... They're you know, ready. They are ready, ready for Santa, and tucked them in, and both are asleep and hopefully not getting up because Santa's on the way. And we're looking at Santa Tracker from no, uh, no, NORAD, not NORAD, NORAD, as mm -hmm. you can see, uh, going through the Appalachians off towards the east, and they'll be making its way towards Oklahoma here in about four four and a half hours. So uh, again, if any kids are watching me, why are you doing up so late? Get to bed. As uh, you need to get to bed. You know, Santa's on his way, as you can see. Uh, Santa will have no weather complications here over the next uh, overnight or next couple of days. Looks pretty quiet here across the state. Coldest morning on Christmas Day. 1983, negative one. Hottest, warmest, 73 back in 2016. Most snow, snow, six and a half inches. And the last snow, 0. 0.6 back in 2012. We've only had 11 out of 128 years on record here in Oklahoma City with snow on Christmas Day. So it doesn't happen very often. Last year, oh, it was a nice one. I remember this very much. 71 degrees. I was stuck inside with COVID and I enjoyed the patio weather here. I'll admit here on Christmas Day last year. Things are quieting down there. The Devon Ice Skating Rink is it's all quiet, stars are out, and temperatures are falling. Nice and chilly for Santa. As remind them of the North Pole, those temperatures down into the teens and 20s for the overnight. Some single digits across the northern half of the state as we officially made it to 32 here in Oklahoma City for an afternoon high temperature after uh, bottoming out in the single digits to low teens here across the metro. High temperatures so far were actually a below average by just a hair because of this week. As you can see, we started off warm, wet. We've seen some cool days, but downright cold the last three days. And we're only going up from here as some high level clouds with a northwest flow. We are watching another cold front that will arrive here on Monday. But here for uh, the next 24 to 48 hours, a light south breeze will We'll get to enjoy here on Christmas Day as that brutal Siberian air gives way off towards the east. A little shot of some Arctic air will come in on Monday with north winds increasing, some clouds during the afternoon hours. But that's in and out Monday and Tuesday. By Wednesday, especially Thursday and Friday, milder air, a south wind, big jet stream. And depending on how this system comes out, there's a lot of energy. Does it come out in little pieces of energy or one big piece of energy? If it's a bigger piece of energy, our rain chances will go up. But nonetheless, uh, some hit miss showers for a couple of days as we continue with that active pattern all the way to the start of 2023. It's hard to imagine we're already for the new year here. Temperatures in the teens to low 20s. Uh, again, lots of sunshine for your Christmas day. Just warm enough, I think, with a light south breeze. The kids can get out. Maybe they got a new bike, new uh, big wheel, new wagon. Get out there and enjoy it as those south winds will continue tomorrow. 30s and 40s to near 50 across southwest parts of the state. We'll stay chilly. Again, another cold front comes in on Monday with some increasing clouds. Partly cloudy, low 40s on Tuesday. And then those rain chances with warmer temperatures into the 60s Thursday and Friday and into the 50s next weekend. Sports is up next.